In recent years, protecting biodiversity has become a key policy for the Chinese government. So how has that impacted those working on the ground? Uh, when I was uh, um, uh, a teacher in the university, I uh, taught uh, zoology. So I know Baiji. I know Baiji was uh, very uh, endangered and uh, almost extinct. So I wanted to do, I wanted to do some work on this animal. So I uh, contacted Professor Wang Ding. I want to come to uh, his research uh, team and uh, to do some work on the Baiji. But when I came here, I, I realized that Baiji has already almost gone. Uh, we probably cannot, uh, we, we probably could not do much uh, to save this animal. This experience made how young more determined to work in the field of conservation. So I realized that um, um, the young Sifonis Bobois but also um, suffered a lot from worse, uh, probably similar um, stress from worse human activities. So I decided to do some work on this animal and, and to protect it. So I became um, a researcher in this research group. At first, the field of the Yangtze River conservation was small. We are only researchers. Only one or two research team are working on innovation of this species. Um, but however, these efforts of several generations, so like my uh, supervisor, Professor Wang Ding, and uh, the other professors. Now we have more research teams on the Yangtze Fenice Bobois Conservation and Research. So uh, I guess at least 10 research institutions have now joined us this work. And we have also established the related research branches, uh, which include um, uh, ecology, physiology, genetics, acoustics, etc. And also many students actually uh, want to do uh, this work. So each year we actually have many students apply for this uh, and uh, for uh, the position in a research group. This conservation work has been helped by a series of regulations issued by the Chinese government, such as the 10-year fishing ban by the Agricultural Department, the Pollution Control Regulations and the Yangtze River Protection Law. But their efforts have also been helped by public awareness. Now, more and more Chinese people are keen on conservation of nature. So many NGOs actually have been established for conservation of the young river environment and aquatic animals. And many of them focus on only on Chinese purpose protection. So you can see the significant change from all aspects in the past several decades. And how does Hao Uyang feel about his move from teaching to working in the field? It's a long journey, it's a journey of emotion, a feeling. Uh, you feel dry, uh, sometimes you feel sadness, um, but um, yes, it's in interesting, uh, it's meaningful, and uh, I really love this work.